Paul Thoreau's The Great Railway Bazaar is a captivating, highly detailed story that combines a memoir, a travelogue, and a journey of self-discovery on a beautiful train ride across two continents. This isn't a typical story with a clear plot and set of clear characters. Instead, it is an incredibly detailed first-person account of Thoreau's 1973 trip from London through Europe, the Middle East, India, Southeast Asia, up to Japan, and back across Russia. Thoreau, a well-known American travel writer, starts his historic trip from London's Victoria Station at the start of the book. The trains and stops he passes along the way set the scene for his explorations of culture, history, and himself. Thoreau's trip is filled with vivid descriptions of the landscape and insightful talks with other travelers, which bring the different countries and cultures he visits to life. Every train ride and location is a different experience, a whole new scene from the lives of people. Through Thoreau's eyes, readers can see what the places he visits are really like. The Orient Express, the Khyber Pass Local, the Frontier Mail, the Golden Arrow to Kuala Lumpur, and the Mandalay Express are all like miniature versions of the places they go through. Thoreau's story shows us what the world was like in the 1970s, from the war-torn landscapes of Vietnam to the icy plains of Russia. One thing that makes the Great Railway Bazaar stand out is that its characters come and go. Unlike most novels, this one doesn't follow the same group of people from beginning to end. The people Thoreau meets are as different from each other as the places he visits. He has a drink with a salesman on the Nile, makes friends with an Indian businessman on his way to the Khyber Pass, and talks with a monk on a train to Mandalay. Thoreau's story is built around the brief but meaningful interactions between these passing figures. The rich, detailed language is another thing that makes this book so strong. Thoreau's words paint a vivid picture of the things he sees, making the readers feel like they're with him on this great journey. He does a great job of capturing the beauty, nostalgia, discomfort, and excitement of long train rides. The reader can almost hear the steady beat of the train tracks and see how the scenery changes outside the window of the train. As the story goes on, Thoreau's trip becomes as much an exploration of himself as it is of the outside world. His story is mostly about being alone, thinking about yourself, and how quickly things change. He thinks about the differences between cultures, how short-lived human interactions are, and what travel is all about. This part of his trip, where he thinks about himself, adds philosophical depth to the story. The Great Railway Bazaar is not only a record of Thoreau's travels, but also a reflection on the human condition, society, history, and the sheer variety of life. Every train and stop, every person and conversation, and every city and landscape can be seen as a metaphor for the human experience as a whole. Paul Thoreau's The Great Railway Bazaar is a modern-day journey. It's a great example of how fascinating travel can be and how the railroad will always be interesting. It's a fascinating trip that crosses not only continents but also different parts of people's lives, giving readers a better understanding and respect of the world as a whole. His travelogue is a classic that will last for a long time. It is a tribute to an age and a way of traveling that has mostly been replaced by flying in our modern world. So, the Great Railway Bazaar is a ride you'll never forget, whether you're a seasoned traveler, a train fanatic, or just someone looking for a unique story about a person's trip and how it makes them think. It's an exciting, enlightening, and sometimes sad journey, but it's one that you can't deny is worth taking. In the end, The Great Railway Bazaar isn't just a book, it's a passport to an amazing trip where the final destination isn't as important as the journey itself and the experiences and self-reflection it offers.